Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to extend our Spring Authorization Server with users that we store in a database. We'll use Spring's JDBC User Details Manager for that. In the second part of this video, we are going to create a third resource server to read the users from the database. We have drawn a diagram to explain the setup of our project. As you can see, the outside world is only connected to the Spring Cloud Gateway, this is where all connections are controlled. The Spring Cloud Gateway is connected to the Angular app. The three resource servers. And the Spring Authorization Server. The Spring Authorization Server is in turn connected to all the Spring Resource Servers and the database. Today we are only working in The Spring Authorization Server The Spring Resource Server 3 And the database We start an eclipse with the first part of the video. In this video we are just going over the modified the code. In the POM XML file we have two new dependencies. Spring Boot Starter JDBC and the MariaDB Java Client. To configure the database with JDBC we need a schema SQL file. This is where we create the tables in the database if they do not already exist. And we provide data for two users, as you can see we use the bcrypt password encoder. In the Securit config class we have a new bean to configure the password encoder, and we removed the in-memory user details manager but left it as a comment for now. Users are now configured in the users config class. Here they have a bean of type JDBC user details manager. As the last step we have the application YAML file, here we configure the database, I chose to use my local Maria database. In the second part we move on to the code in the third Spring Resource Server. We created a new Spring Resource Server. In the POM XML file, in addition to the standard dependencies for a resource server, we also have the Spring Boot Starter JDBC and the MariaDB Java Client dependencies. In the application YAML file we have the resource server configuration and the database configuration. The main class is a standard Spring Boot class. In the security config class we have a simple security filter chain bean and the JWT authentication converter bean. Here the roles are extracted from the token and made available as authorities. To display the users in a browser window we have a user's record, with the additional method add authority. In the user service we extract the users with JDBC template from the database and with a row mapper we create a users list. The last class is a simple REST controller to make the database data available to our Angular app. Here we are going to end this video, if you have any questions you can always ask them in the comments. Thanks for following us and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel, and until the next video.